Now we're turning to new developments concerning the parents of the accused Oxford High School shooter. They've been ordered to stand trial for their alleged role in that tragedy. The court finds that the deaths of the four victims could have been avoided if James and Jennifer Crumbly exercised ordinary care and diligence in the care of their son. James and Jennifer Crumbly are charged with involuntary manslaughter, four counts each for the deaths of Tate Meir, Madison Baldwin, Hannah St. Juliana, and Justin Schilling. Their son Ethan is accused of shooting the four teens and seven others at Oxford High School back in November. A judge sided with prosecutors who say that they failed to answer his cries for help with mental issues and bought him the gun allegedly used in that attack. The defense claims that the two did not know that their son was a danger. The case now moves to the Oakland County Circuit Court for a jury trial to determine their fate. Well, today the CDC is expected to announce new pandemic guidelines. Rather than determining restrictions solely on the number of new cases, the agency is expected to start using metrics like number of hospitalizations and deaths. And that means we could see an updated mask recommendation today. The adjustment comes as more people have reached full vaccination status and the Omicron variant symptoms remain comparatively mild. If you're looking for a taste of New Orleans, a special Mardi Gras celebration kicks off today in Detroit. The three day festival kicks off at five o'clock at Villad Park. That's right there along East Riverfront. And there will be a lot of food, great music, Mardi Gras costume contest and more. This event is free. No ticket is needed to be there. Well, our early morning snow moves out, but the roads will stay slick for the morning drive. So uh, be careful. Take it slowly. Temperatures into the 20s today. A few snow showers possible going into the afternoon. Otherwise, the rest of the day looks drier. And uh, tonight, low temperature drops 14 degrees. Mostly cloudy skies.